All right, Stephen Follett here of uh, Thunderbird Long Range. I was uh, getting ready to uh, these uh, rear bags that I promised people uh, that uh, liked and shared. Uh, it's going to go out. We've got some packaged up, got to finish that. Got the labels and everything printed. Uh, but as I was doing it, I uh, saw uh, Jim C's post about aerodynamic jump uh, come up again, and I shot get shared a couple places. And I saw, you know, questions on the on the uh, on the comments on on how it all works. And so I've got this top here, and uh, I've got some wind here. So the pen's going to simulate the wind, and the top is going to be a a, gyro, a gyroscopically stable bullet flying. So we've got the bullet, and you see as it as it spins around, it spins in circles and tries to stay upright. You can see it leans a little bit, but it leans around that same lean as it spins around, and that's the yaw. The yaw that that's the yaw and the repose and things like that. So that's when you talk about yaw, it's the bullet moving around and in, in in circles like that. It's the it's the angle that it's leaning. All right, but uh, so, oh, let me get a good spin here. Sorry, I just spun that one off the table. Okay, so we've got a good spin here. Now I'm just going to tap it to uh, stop it. So now I've stopped it. Now the wind is going to come in from the right and hit this bullet, and watch what it does. See, now it's up higher. So let me hit it again. See, and I move, and I hit it, and it comes up higher. And so I tap it again, and it comes up higher to stabilize itself. So I hit it again and it comes up here to stabilize itself. Hit it again, you know, and if I hit it too hard it's going to fall. But so what happens again, oop, let me get a good spin here. I'll kind of stabilize it a little bit. So as the wind comes in it's going to hit the bullet and it spins out and up to stabilize itself. See I'm disturbing its spin but because it's gyroscopically stable it's going to continue to spin and the spin will correct itself. So it started out here, but every time I tapped it, it slowly moved its way up here to stabilize itself. Okay, and uh, so that's a, here we go, let me spin it here. So this is a right twist barrel, shooting a, right, a bullet twisting to the right, and a right to left wind. It's going to hit the bullet, and the bullet goes up. That's a result of what's called uh, the nutation as it stabilizes itself. I messed it up right there. Okay, so let me get it just bounced. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the wind coming in. See, I bump it, and it does, and it spins a big circle, and then it, but it's further up. So I spin, and it's further up. So I hit it, right to left wind, and it, and it comes up there. So now I'll show you the opposite direction a left to right wind. So as I hit it, now it's got to stabilize, it jumps down further. So there's a left to right wind hitting it. Oh, knocked it over. So a left to right wind on a right twist bullet actually causes a bullet to move down. A little bit hard on my uh, figuring that out on my left hand. Here we go. So we're going to hit it. See how it moves down to stabilize itself. Moves down to stabilize itself. Moves down to stabilize itself. So a left wind, when it disturbs the bullet, among other things, it has to stabilize itself by spinning down as a result of uh, the gyroscopic stability and a wind coming this way hits it, it spins, uh, it's going to spin up. So I'll show quickly what it looks like if it's the nose of the bullet. So if the nose of the bullet is just spinning very tightly, and then we disturb it with a right to left wind, it's going to hit the bullet, and the bullet is then going to get disturbed and then it spins around like that until those little loop-de-loops until it's stabilized again and so if I hit it again then it's going to go loop-de-loops like that until it gets tighter and tighter and then it stabilizes itself 
If I hit it again, it's going to come out. It gets it's stabilizing itself. Okay, and that is called nutation. But when it's a constant wind, what is happening to the bullet is it's doing more like this. And so that's one reason a right to left wind moves a bullet up because of the it's changing the angle of attack and how it's flying aerodynamically and how the bullet orients itself. In addition to nutation, what happens is as the bullet is spinning this way and the wind is forcing this way, right? There's extra wind going this way and if you add the wind here from a right to left wind, then you have more wind here, which means more pressure. And so more pressure here means less here. And this is like an airplane wing, the wind, wind blowing this way, and an airplane wing goes up. So this is nutation, the gyroscopic scopic stability of the bullet, its orientation in the air as a result of gyroscopic spin. And here as a result of the spin with the bullet and friction forcing air here plus the wind here, you have more pressure, less pressure, and so you have lift. That's the Bernoulli principle and Magnus effect. So you have lift and nutation. Uh, both acting together to, to some degree, and of course with wind, again, it's a constant, usually a constant event, slowly just keeping up setting the bullet, causing it to rise, and the, and the wind also uh, uh, creates the bullet moving uh, from the right to left, and also lift, moving a bullet up. So that's a right to left wind. So the, uh, the effects on a left to right wind are going to be different because here the bullet is spinning this way to the right. So if I bump it, it's going to cause it to get, become unstable and it's going to spin like this. And then if I bump it again, then it's going to try to stabilize itself, spin little curly cues. If I bump it again, it's going to do the same thing. All right, so it's going to go down and to the left with a left to right wind. Okay, so a left to right wind, the bullet will be moved down as a result of that. And again, this is nutation. The little circles that the tip of the bullet is drawing. Uh, and the second one is going to be the opposite effect, or the opposite of the right to left wind, which is lift, right? So here we have a bullet spinning like this, and we have the wind, the bullet pulling wind, extra wind right here, plus this wind coming here, so you've got both of these arrows coming together, so that creates higher pressure. And because you have air flowing this way because of the spin, combining with the wind flowing this way creates higher pressure here, and then you have lower pressure here. Because more wind and more air is forced here, because of the spin, it forces the wind here, creating a higher pressure, lower pressure here. So this is like an airplane flying upside down, and it creates not it creates lift, but the lift is in reverse. So a right twist bullet is going to, in a left to right wind, have higher pressure here and lower pressure here. So it's going to move down. So that is in essence a 
summary, you have left to right wind, the bullet point scribes, little tiny circles, and it moves down because of the way that the bullet stabilizes itself. In addition, because of the spin, right twist spin, you have the air forcing more air here, higher pressure with lower pressure here, and so the bullet will move in the direction from high pressure to low pressure. So a left to right wind, because of nutation and because of Magnus and Bernoulli, Bernoulli, uh, Bernoulli principle, Bernoulli principle, moving it down. Got a right twist bullet. Got a right to left. It's the bullet's dragging more air this way, combining with the air and the wind blowing this way. You have higher pressure, less pressure up here. Aerodynamic lift moves the bullet up, as well as the bullet spins. As you hit it, like I hit the top, it'd spin, hit, and it would spin up, hit and spin up. So those are the uh, basics to kind of give somebody an idea and a visualization without so much of the scientific words. And so again, let me get this top stabilized, right? So now I'm gonna bump it right to left wind. You can see that it moved up. I'm gonna bump it again, you can see that it moves up. And bump that one and it moves down. Bump that, it moves down. Oh, my. oh knock that off. Do the uh, left wind one more time. I uh, bump the wind, bump it, it moves down, bump it, moves down. And you can see as it swirls around that it's creating the, uh, the little mutation. If you could drop a pin, use it on a pin, you'd see it making these tiny little circles. They're not perfect circles spinning in one spot, it's spinning around and around and around. And depending upon which direction the force is imparted, then you're going to have different effects, right? So if you have a wind from the bottom, it's going to an updraft, it'll actually move the bullet to the right a tiny bit. So there's some aerodynamic jump from wind going this way to the right. Uh, and that's just simply because of the forces that are imparted because of the gyroscopic spin of the bullet and the effect of air compression around the bullet because of drag. So hopefully that uh, can give a visual demonstration and kind of an understanding, a simplified version. I may put together uh, something more, more detailed, but that's what has helped me understand seeing seeing the uh, the top spin around. And so appreciate anybody who listened. And if you have any questions or ideas on how I can explain this better, I'd love to, uh, to do that again. I just have been thinking about this uh, demonstration for a while and uh, might be a better way to execute it, but figured this was a timely uh, video because of what Jim C has going on. Talk to everybody later. Good shooting.